Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. Today I'll be sharing with you a therapeutic art activity for inner peace. So if you're finding that the outside world is really chaotic right now and you just need to give yourself a moment of peace, then continue watching the video. I'm gonna share with you a simple step-by-step -step art activity that will help you tap into that place. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It would mean so much to me. And lastly, if you are interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, I do offer online therapeutic art sessions and all the information is down below. So what is inner peace and what does inner peace actually feel like? For myself, inner peace is a place of stillness, it's a place of calm, it's a place where I'm not worrying about the past or the future, and I'm just fully in the present moment, being really mindful and just completely content. I'm not at war with myself, I'm not at war with the outer world, because inside I have my temple of peace. And this state is not something that's always achievable, but it's something that we can keep striving for in our daily lives. So inner peace is actually a collection of self-care techniques that we can use to help achieve that state. And there's many ways that we can do it, but the most important thing is that we actually do it. You know, the past couple years have been really, really intense. It's been hard for a lot of us and there is a lot of chaos in the world. Things were just crumbling and how did we not get affected by that? So how do we achieve that state of calm when the outside world is so chaotic? And that's why it's important to try to achieve inner peace in our life because life is only going to get crazier. It's not about living a problem-free life. It's about learning how to live in a life full of problems. And so if we dedicate time and energy into reaching that state, then life is going to be so much easier. What is the opposite of peace? It's actually war. And so if we're not at war with ourselves, we're not at war with the outside world and what's happening, then we're gonna be at peace. That's when life is going to be more flowing, easier, and you're gonna be living with a more open heart and trust. This therapeutic art exercise is going to help you tap into that place of inner peace because we all have that space inside of us where we do feel at peace, but it's just a matter of uncovering it, unraveling it, and using techniques to help tap into that. So using our creativity, using colors, lines, shapes, and breathing techniques, I'm gonna show you how to express your inner peace out onto paper. For this exercise, you will need a piece of paper, a pencil, a ruler, chalk pastels, and any other sort of coloring or drawing materials like felt markers, pencil crayons, or paint. Before you begin, take some time to tune inward, set up a quiet space, take a deep breath in and out. Thank yourself for showing up today. Place your hands on the paper and say out loud or silently in your heart, I breathe in the energy of peace and exhale my anxieties. I am at peace with myself and everything that surrounds me. I am firmly connected to my inner stillness. Draw a triangle and let it represent your inner peace. Breathe out all your anxieties away from the triangle. Use lines and colors to express this release. Imagine your place of peace and illustrate it inside the triangle using colors, lines, images, and shapes. Using your ruler, create a triangle in the center of your page. Let this triangle be your center of peace. Now let yourself breathe out all your anxieties and worries. Follow your breath by drawing lines coming out of the triangle. Let the movement of your hand follow the rhythm of your breath. Release it all out and give yourself a moment after you're done. Now using chalk pastels, color in all your exhales. Choose colors that represent everything that you're letting go of, your worries, anxieties, all the things in your life you can't control. Let the mark making help you release what you don't need. 
Now use your fingers to blend the colors out. This is you letting it all go. Now focus on the inside of your triangle. This is your pocket of peace. Imagine and visualize your most peaceful place. What does it look like? What does it smell like? What surrounds you? What colors do you see? How do you feel when you're there? Use lines, images, shapes, and colors to depict the scene inside your triangle. This is a place you can always come back to when the world feels chaotic. You can breathe here. You are protected here. This is your safe and happy place. So this is a pocket of peace that I created for myself and I really enjoyed using the chalk pastels and so I'd highly recommend for you to get some if you don't have any because the process of using it, using my fingers to smudge it out while I was releasing whatever I needed to release was so incredibly therapeutic. Just to get my hands messy and just to watch the colors fade out. It was a really, really beautiful process and I just recommend anyone to just try it. Inside the triangle, I actually drew a sunset with water and some birds because when I think about what is most peaceful for me, it's watching the sunset. It's something that happens every single day and it's so amazing and whenever I am watching a sunset and seeing the colors, I'm just so captivated by its beauty. Time stops, you know, it's just that feeling, that warm sun, the glow of the colors and the water sparkling. There is really nothing more beautiful to me than watching a sunset and so now that I have my image of peace, Whenever life is going to get crazy, when the outside world gets chaotic, I'm just going to tap into my triangle of peace, which is the sunset, the water, the warm glow of the, of the sun and the birds chirping. That is where I will find my inner peace. And despite what happens outside of me, I want to embody that feeling all the time. And so I really hope that you try this exercise, carve out some time during your day just to tap into your creativity, make some art and connect with your inner peace because your inner peace is there. It's inside of you. So if you do decide to try it, I would love to see your work. You can always email me or tag me on Instagram. And in the meantime, I'm sending you all the love and creativity and I'll see you all soon.